been estimated that 90% of many of the large pelagic sharks have been fished out of the oceans in the last 50 years. 10% left within 50 years. We're just too good at fishing and now we've got this practice that's actually targeting sharks. It's a real, real ocean crisis. Sharks have shaped evolution in the ocean. Uh, the fact that fish are camouflaged, their speed, uh, their behavior has all been influenced by the shark. So uh, you remove the shark and then you, you can cause some serious uh, problems with diversity in the, in the oceans. Shark finning is the process where a shark is caught, it's brought aboard, quite often it's clubbed or stabbed to avoid harm to the fishermen, and the fins are cut off and the animal is thrown back over the side alive. The shark fins are very valuable. They're the most valuable dried seafood product per weight. One fin can cost hundreds of dollars. Uh, it's highly prized in Asian cuisine for shark fin soup. And this was a ceremonial uh, dish at one time hundreds of years ago. Unfortunately, it's become extremely popular in banquets and business luncheons. So where once there was just a few people eating shark fins, now there are literally millions of people eating shark fin and it's decimating the species literally around the world ocean. Sharks are extremely vulnerable to overfishing because they have very late onset of reproduction, sometimes 15, sometimes 20 years for some of the larger sharks. They're much like humans in that respect. They also have few young. So if you're killing a shark, you're, you may be killing a shark that's never had a chance to reproduce, or you may be killing a, a shark that can only have maybe 25 or 30 children, if you will, or pups in its entire lifetime. Uh, it's not like a fish that can have millions of eggs, that can broadcast millions of eggs out there and have a high percentage of success. You kill a great white shark and you can knock out a generation uh, in a local population. The, the sharks are going to be gone in decades, not hundreds of years. They're going to be gone in a decade or two. They're just going to be gone. It's already happening in places where there are specific shark species that you don't see anymore in certain parts of the world at all. They're never sighted anymore. And it's not because they've decided to go somewhere else. It's because there simply aren't any left. Because if you can get $12 for a fin, US dollars for a fin, in a place where you might make $9 a month in wages, you'll kill as many sharks as you possibly can in a month to make a hundred times what your normal income would be. And that's the profit motive, that's the incentive. Is that's why in places like Galapagos, they'll kill a million sharks in a year. In one island chain, they'll kill a million sharks and a million fins at $12 a piece. Sharks mean a healthy ocean. If we're taking sharks out, we're taking the regulator out. We're taking the animals that are really keeping things clean, that are really keeping animals strong. And it's not only the sharks that are going, it's the big fish. Uh, really, they're shooting themselves in their own foot. So by killing that apex predator, they change the whole pyramid and the fish will go somewhere else. The same thing that happened in Southern California. You kill all the sheephead that eat the urchins and then the urchins explode, they eat the kelp and then the kelp goes away and then all the species on the west coast of the United States have disappeared because there's no kelp. Because they all depended on living in the kelp. So uh, it, it, one thing always affects something else. You can go down to San Francisco Chinatown right now and walk into any number of restaurants and order a bowl of shark fin soup. It's not illegal. It, it's uh, commonly served. Uh, it's everywhere. It's really not a cultural thing. We, we can change our cultural practices if they're not sustainable. The Chinese binding feet, that was a, that was a cultural practice. And that's not really observed anymore and it's not really looked favorably upon. So we can change what we consider our cultural values into what are sustainable values. The shark fin trade is like a black market. It's like drugs. It's small, it's easily transported, it's easily smuggled, and it's destroying our world ocean. It's killing the regulators of the oceans. Hawaii just signed a bill that's going into law to ban shark fins landing in the whole state of Hawaii. 
Uh, this is landmark legislation. And they're including in that is banning shark fin products, which means shark fin soup. Uh, I founded a nonprofit called Sea Stewards, and we're trying to do the same thing in San Francisco. Unfortunately, people historically only begin to care when it starts to impact their lives, when they start to feel it, when they start to suffer. Uh, we respond to tragedies, we respond to crises and, and uh, disasters, but we have this very little, abil no ability to look forward into the future and look at consequences. Really, some of the most important animals in the ocean are sharks, and they're being killed for fins.